Sri Lanka is an island of unparalleled beauty and ecological diversity where the sun shines every day of the year. The rays of the sun illuminate and give life to streams, brooks, tank systems and the beaches of the coastal regions, waterfalls and the evergreen mountains. However, finding drinking water is a very exhaustive effort for most people. Water for drinking is fetched from far away places with great effort. Whether it is suitable for drinking or not is often not a matter of great concern. Make a bonda pulu na ba. Me wadu bonni. Madani. Numerous careless and thoughtless human activities constantly contaminate our water sources. People wash not only their clothes and themselves, but wash anything from fertilizer bags to vehicles in these waters. Animals bathe in them and are bathed in them. Disregarding such pollution, some people fetch this water for drinking too. The majority of rural folk as well as some urban communities obtain their drinking water from wells and ponds. They bathe at these sources. They wash and clean their kitchenware and household items. The water that is constantly being polluted by these activities is also used for drinking. Drinking water is a main cause for the spread of bowel diseases. Some people contract diseases like dysentery and cholera by unsafe drinking water and are forced to seek medical treatment at health clinics and hospitals. Some have to be admitted to hospital. Some simply die from these diseases, especially children. Harmful bacteria and microorganisms in water cannot be seen by the naked eye. It is only by laboratory testing that we can detect their presence in water. Such systematic tests can detect many disease-causing substances that are present in water. This is such a systematic test being conducted. It will especially check whether any harmful bacteria or pathogens are present in the water. Boiling is one of the most effective and main methods of cleaning drinking water at the household level. It is true that this involves additional expenditure for the purchase of firewood, electricity, gas or kerosene for boiling water. But yet, if it is not properly done, the intended results cannot be achieved. In large pipe-borne drinking water systems, various methods and processes are used for the removal of pollutants. It is a general practice to use chlorine gas to disinfect the water in such large systems. However, even the clean water that is supplied by pipelines gets recontaminated through improper and unhygienic use. The waiter does not forget to clean the table well. But she back other Bunda Vatrika Ginari Atadal. Look at this mother. She does not forget to wash and clean her child, 
Yet, she forgot to clean her hands. Didn't she pollute her drinking water herself? We can purify drinking water ourselves in our own homes, making use of the freely available rays of the sun. This is yet another household method to purify water recommended by the World Health Organization. The process is known as SODIS, meaning solar disinfection in short. To do this, we can use transparent bottles like these. These bottles are safe, easy and safer to handle and can be easily found. It is easy to clean the interior by using a soft coir brush and soap, making sure not to scratch the surface.